Howdy, welcome. My name's Anna. On my channel, I like to talk about makeup mostly and um, decorating oneself. And today I just wanna share a bunch of eyeshadows and pressed pigments that sort of have stood out to me over the years or that I just have really liked or have just struck me in one way or another. Um, yeah, and I thought I would swatch them. Some of them I haven't swatched in a long time. I just remember them standing out to me for various reasons. Um, and so I thought that I would swatch them all today and see how I feel about them still. And also share with you, there are some that I'm like, yes, these are amazing shadows. Um, and I know that a lot of them are still available. So I'm gonna start swatching. Um, the first one, and this is kind of a funny one because it's actually what maybe was the idea for this video and the only matte shadow in this whole thing. And the reason I love this one so much is it's just like a perfect, I wouldn't say one and done shade, although this could be, I think. I just don't do one and done looks. But if I did, I think I would go for this shadow. There's just something about the way that it looks against my complexion and everything that's just like the perfect subtle shadow that's not too much. Um, anyways, so it is from Divine Rose 1 and it's this shade right here. So I'm gonna swatch that, super soft. Um, and that shade is called Valuria. Um, but yeah, it's just kind of a, it's almost like a mauve neutral. Um, yeah, it just, it, it, it's, it's so good, <laughs> um, for my complexion and it's a really nice matte. Um, anyway, so I just love that shade and it was just so funny to me that a matte was sort of the shadow that was the impetus for this video. And yet all of these other ones, I think without, without exception are shimmery, you know, really special shadows. Anyways, uh, the next one that came to mind was, this is from the Silent Night palette from Glaminatrix Cosmetics. Um, this came out a couple of few years ago and I just remember this shade Bobbles really stood out to me. It's a multi-chrome and it's got like kind of every color. You, it's like the whole rainbow, um, but it's kind of got like a cooler sort of overarching feeling to it. Like that greenish, greenish bluish. Um, but just absolutely stunning. Um, my light's a little bit bright right now for these swatches. I hope it gets a little darker. Anyways, um, beautiful, beautiful. Still impressed. Still impressed. Lovely, beautiful formula. All right. Next up, this one, this was kind of one that I almost debated not putting in here, but I thought, well, why not? Um, it's my video. I can do what I want. <laughs> um, this is from the So Elemental palette. I think I was just thinking, oh, it's not that special, but I remember the thing is, this is newer to me. And so it was a couple weeks ago that this happened and I don't know how, I'll, if, if I was doing this video in two years, I don't know that I would have remembered this, but because it was two weeks ago, I did. So anyway, that's why I was a little bit like, well, I don't know, but that is the shade Angel Light. And when I swatched it, um, when I was doing like a look with it, I just remember going, ooh, cause it glows. It just glows. It's so pretty. And I mean, this palette's only $14. And I think it's a good palette. Yeah. So anyway, I like it. Um, the next one is, and I've, I've got everything here, everything except drugstore, but like indie mainstream, most of this is indie makeup. Most of it's indie. Uh, anyways, this is the warrior palette from sugar drizzle. I really like some of their, 
some of their stuff. The two palettes that I have from them, I'm really impressed with. And I've liked other um, of their palettes as well. Are they still around? I feel like I haven't seen anything from them lately. Anyways, this shade Spirit in this palette um, is just really fun. It's really, really fun. It's like that limey, minty green with like a pink reflect. And I think part of the reason that I thought of this was I just thought of that palette and how sort of impressed I was with that particular palette and the color story. And this was the shade that stands out the most to me. Boy, it's bright, which is making these not look as exciting as they can. Okay, we're lowering the light a little bit for you. Hopefully that is reading on camera. Okay, so the next one that I have here is a single shadow from a company called Burnovich, which I believe are um, from Belarus. I believe that's um, where they are. I got these several years ago and I just remember this particular, their um, numbers, this is number 194. And I just remember being like, that is one of the weirdest colors I've ever seen. And it just looked so pretty on. It's getting older now, so I don't know how it's gonna swatch. Oh yeah, these did not live super long lives, I think. Like I said, it was three, maybe four years ago, or three and a half, anyway. Um, yeah, just a really almost swampy reflect over that really warm, almost rust color. And I just thought it was just really weird and it stood out to me, it stood out in my memory. It made an impression, let's say. And again, some of these are eyeshadows and some of them are pressed pigments. I don't actually know which are which. I could probably figure that out, but it would take a lot of time. <laughs> um, the next one is from Davina Cosmetics, and I believe it was called their Moonscapes collection. And really, basically, the whole the whole thing, like the whole collection, just really stood out to me. But I tend to use this one, which has sort of a pinky, pinky lavender vibe to it um oh man this shadow is just so unique and so foiled like it's so metallic and so beautiful woo and messy but look at that yeah holy mackerel that is beautiful the next one here is from touch of glam Beauty, and I don't know if they have a website or if they're just on Etsy. I got this on uh, on Etsy. And this shade, I will read to you in one moment, is called Lucid Lavender. And I remember this was like a big deal when it came out. Anyways, um, oh, it's really soft. Oh, this shadow is so impressive. It's like really shiny. It's got several different colors um, in the like multi-chromeness of it. Look at that. Ooh, yes. It's just like sparkly without being glitterly, glitterly, <laughs> glittery, beautiful. I love it. It's like a silvery lavender with like some green and blue in there, some gold even. It looks even more rainbow in person. I just wish I could make this translate what I can see with my eyes. Anyways, that is that. And the next one that stood out in my memory was this shade from Mighty the Mighty Monster palette, which was in Odin's Eye and um, Annette's Makeup Corner 
collab and it's this shade Electrum and it's this like really wet shiny foiled gold just so foiled and so shiny it looks really like wet on the eye just beautiful very impressive all right the next one I, these are all you know it's like i would think of one and then by association i would think of another one and the other uh the next one is actually from the giant wolves palette which was annette's collab the first collab with um odin's eye and this shade here i just always think of it when i think ooh. I want a fancy, really beautiful shade, and it's called Eternal. And it's another one of those like really cool toned, you can see there's quite a dip in that pan. Uh, it's another one of those like super cool toned, um, kind of full rainbow shades. Sort of like that Lucid Lavender, which I think was this one. I guess they're even a little similar, aren't they? Um, anyway, it's just got a lot of different colors in it, and of course it's not showing up the way I want it to. Or no, I guess this was Lucid Lavender, so they are a little different. This one has like a little bit more, or a little bit less of a base color, I'd say. A little less sparkly. Or the sparkles are like smaller. Okay, stop focusing on my eye camera. Or on my face. <laughs> Alright. It's funny, these shades do not look very good together. Um, next up then is the Hummingbird palette. Which was from the first Legendary Diversa collection with um, Odin's Eye. And this one was the Fancy Face. Tina from the Fancy Face with Odin's Eye collab. And this shade, Fancy. Um, and it looks just kind of magenta right there. But it actually has, there, do you see that like bluish green in there? Oh yeah, it's like magenta and green. I'm a little disappointed with the way that these like duochromes are not showing up <laughs> on camera. We have to take my word for it. It is pretty. It's maybe not. Like, I feel like these and this one, like there are some of these that I'm like, yeah, they're, they're good, but they're not like, like this lucid lavender shade. Definitely, I'm like, yes, I that is exactly how I remember. And like this one here, so impressed by them. All right, next up, I have the Danessa Myrix Beauty Lightwork Volume 5. And I did a video on this one recently. Um, and this shade, Fierce, really blew my mind. It's just fire. It's, it's, a, it's a shade that is fire in an eyeshadow and it's it's got red and gold and green and it, it is fierce the shade is fierce because it's wow it's like so vibrantly red but then it has all of those other colors in it there's the gold I feel like that one is, you can actually see the color shifts a little better. Oh, but even from this direction, it's like gold and orange. It's it's a fire. It's a fire in an eyeshadow and I love it so much. Um, next up is the Danessa Myricks Lightwork Volume 3. And the shade Polaris. I don't know, there was something about it that just like really... Well, okay, first off, it's like a wet shadow. It's literally like a cream shadow. 
Um, but it's also, it is a multi-chrome. And again, it's like one of those super glowy shadows. It's like a, wow, yeah, oh my goodness. It's like, it just glows. Oh man. Yeah, that is just absolutely beautiful. And like the texture of it looks really pretty on the eyes too. That is spectacular. That is absolutely spectacular. Vanessa Myricks impresses me. All right. And this last shade that I cannot get enough of this shade. This is a Terra Moons shade. It is my most used Terra Moons shadow. And it is called Phoenix. And it's like, again, it's kind of fire, like the tips of fire or something, or the depths of fire. I don't even know how to explain it, but it's got, it's kind of a topper shadow, but it has this, like, it's got a, like a yellow shine to it, but it also has this like orange, it's like a bright white shadow that's on fire. That's the best way I can describe it. Um, and I'm going to use a finger that I haven't used yet, but yeah. And then it's got that like blue in there. Like how, how is this possible? But it is so impressive. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's like blue. It's like ice on fire. What? What is even happening? <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. I feel like these look so weird all together. And I will say, like after swatching these all kind of in one video, I these are the ones that I stand by. Like these are amazing shadows again, you know? Like wow, the ones that wowed me the most were Phoenix um, right here. Um, this one, Polaris, I think is what it was called from the Danessa Myricks Late Work Volume three this fierce shade from lightwork volume five these were okay these were okay what was this one this one i'm i'm not that one didn't quite excite me as much this is i believe lucid lavender and yes i stand by that one this is that Moonscapes um, shadow. Did I ever say the name of it? That was the one from um, Davina Cosmetics. And that particular shade, just in case I didn't see it before, was called Pink Flare. I don't think I said that before. So yeah, Pink Flare. Um, super amazing. This Burn of a Shadow. I, I agree, again, that it's kind of weird. Um... That is fine. I think, again, it was more the color story that struck me about that particular thing. Um, this one, again, yeah, I was like, wow, that really glows. But then when I look at it next to, like, Phoenix, you know, this one, I think, is my favorite, like, of all time. I just, I, I can't get over how beautiful that is. Um, this one, yes, that is gorgeous. I don't remember what that was, but it was so pretty. Which one was that? Oh, that was Bobbles from Glaminatrix. Yes, lovely. And then we have my one matte shadow that's just like the most flattering eyeshadow shade um, for me as far as a matte shadow goes. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna turn the lights on again um, and show you one more time in the light. Yeah, oh my goodness, like, stop it. Stop it, Terra Moons. My number one suggestion, if you just want to be wowed by shadows, is Terra Moons. Just um, pick up an order from Terra Moons. Um, I do have a video that I will link of me swatching all of the Terra Moon shades that I do have. And I tried to be pretty um, careful about making sure to like do screenshots of like which shade was which and stuff. So hopefully it is helpful in deciding like which shades you want. I don't have their newest stuff. So I haven't bought from them in a year and a half. It's been quite a while. I've been on kind of a low buy, but anyway, 
Um, they still, you know, there are some shadows from the way back times, like Phoenix. Where'd it go? This one. Yeah. Oh, man. So pretty. Anyways, um, these are shadows that I was excited about. And I don't know. It's weird. I like conceived of this idea. I was like, oh, I should do my favorite shadows. And then like, that's all I wanted to do with my time today. So, so here it is. Um, thanks again for being here. And again, I hope you're having a good week and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side alive. It will help us every day. It will brighten all the way. If we keep on the sunny side alive.